shit, shit we found, found on the internet. internet. Is a rivalry between two vegetarians who rap still called a beef? Prius or die. 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 Live Prius or die. Yeah. Yeah. You're safe. Live. Live Prius or die. Episode 27 ish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's September 3rd and it is a Saturday, beautiful Saturday morning in the Inder Anna. Uh, how's, it, how's it hanging down there in Florida? It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> And that is Pete on the mic, and we also have Mon Blow. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. Mo- Mon Blow? It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Richard? Dickhead. <laughs> yep, just oh, hanging here. What's, what's happening? Just what's hanging high? here. Nothing, nothing, new, uh, nothing new to report, except uh, I have a third testicle. So other than that, mm. I'm pretty good. You might, <laughs> dude, you might want to get that checked out. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't hear those are common these days. Yeah, I yeah, I like to handle them. <laughs> mm. It feels really good. Um, Sounds delicious. I think you need to listen to Deadpool and fill your balls. Yeah, it it's not like it oh. just showed up. Oh, the seal's been broken. Yep. <laughs> Get on, can't you bother me? Back away from the mic. So okay, so yeah, so I apologize. Yeah, last night was. Uh, was kind of interesting though. Um, a while back, uh, I got some tickets to this uh, concert, and it's for uh, '80s cover band. Okay. Right. So I was what like, they ah. like just Is songs from the '80s, like just different just different types of songs. Yeah. So I didn't know what to expect. Um, they're called the uh, Molly Ringwalds, right? Okay. That's cool. And yeah, I mean, it, I, I liked the name. And I was like, hey, this would be interesting. Well, I got they they the tickets were just given to me for free. Uh huh. So, and this was middle of August. So, okay. I save them, and then, uh, you know, I'm not going to go. The 80s really isn't my thing, but I gave. I told my wife, I said, hey, if you wanted to go to this, we can. Long story short, she gets a group of girls to go out, and they all get the tickets to the show. And I, I walk in the door to, you know, like five or six women doing shots. Oh, so they were pre-gaming? Yes. Oh, shit. Drinking beers. Uh, somebody brought some Jameson and ginger ale to to mix it up a little bit, and I was like, "Okay, this is you guys are seriously partying." And then I got some, I saw some Snapchats of the event, which I was like, "Awesome!" So I rolled through like all night. Like I'm just kind of, I, I went out and uh, I had a drink with some other friends, and then uh, I came home. I was only gone for about an hour and a half. Well, that was from about quarter to ten to about eleven thirty, right? So I get home. And they're not back. The show, I think, started at like 8 or 9. I was like, what's going on? So I call, and all of a sudden, all I hear is at that. 9? Nine? Nine, well, around 9, you said? I think about, yeah, about 8 or 9 or so. <clears throat> well, so I can see them being gone for a little while then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I, I get back, and, well, it's by this time, it's like 1230, and I'm like, where where is everybody at? So uh, I see cars still in front of our house. And uh, I call my wife, and all, all I hear is this, and I was like, "Oh, she must still be at the concert, right?" And she's yeah. like, "Hello." I'm like, "Hey, what are you, what are you doing?" Oh, we're at Tiki Bob's. Now, if you don't know, Indy, yeah, Tiki Bob's is like a club that people go to uh, that they wear Affliction T-shirts and like jeans, like those six hundred dollar jeans, and um, <laughs> you know they've got like round glasses. Okay, and so there's a lot of beards. Uh, oh. Kind of. Kind of more more like a, a place you go to uh, if you're low on on douche you could go there and pick some up. So <laughs> Dude, I totally know places like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so she's like, we're just we're still dancing here, and I was like, okay, all right, we're just gonna take an Uber home. And I was like, no, 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 it's fine. Come, I'll, I'll come pick you up. No big deal. So I get a text about one thirty. Come pick us up. You know, a couple of them. I get downtown. I pick them up. All her and two of her friends are like seriously fucked up. Like I, I, it's it's hilarious to see them drunk. So they get in the car and they begin telling me all kind of stories. Something about 
they're trying to one of them trying to get my wife to touch this dude's nipples uh then <laughs> only on the field <laughs> <laughs> um then uh there was something about uh Dude, you should have recorded this oh man i couldn't i couldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't have made any sense i tried i thought about it and i totally no no but uh yeah then then uh they were like oh yeah we, he was a pilot and i was like oh that's awesome and they were like yeah and one of her friends was like yeah i tried to get him to show us his dick and i was like what wow well, Damn, his ex- elevated fast. Right. His excuse <laughs> was happens. that's what happens when you get women in their late thirties drunk that haven't been out of the house in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. So his excuse was that it was too cold. Oh, I well, I agree. You know, well, you, you don't want to show it the shrinkage. To which these two women responded, "Oh, so you have a little dick then?" Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Declined uh, fast. It yeah. Was- yeah. yeah. Well, they went for the throat. Yeah, they they that was like the what triple dog dare. Oh just... man, that was hilarious. It was it was funny. And then they they find out that he was a pilot, so his name was Peter, and they kept <laughs> calling him like Peter, Peter pilot. pilot. Yeah, it was so what funny. Literally, he was. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, I was cracking up, man. I thought it was so. It was so I mean, hilarious. was one of the women also trying to get get with him or what? No, I think they were just trying to get see some dick. Oh. You know how we're like, hey, show us your boobs. You know. Yeah, that's 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 what chicks do sometimes. So, yeah, but, all right, right timeout, out, time out. I'm I'm gonna make a distinction right there. I mean, yeah, I do want women to show me their boobs. I'm not gonna deny that. But even with that happening, I I don't automatically assume I'm getting the the snatch. Okay, but if but if chicks see a guy's dick, there, there's gonna be something happening. I I I just think once the penis is out, it doesn't usually go back in. No. I mean, they were in public. Well. So what? Yeah, at a club that they could have easily slipped in to the Burger King bathroom. Eh, yeah, <laughs> but they weren't. Uh, no, no, trust me. Like, it wasn't. It wasn't like that. I think it was more like, would you do it? And this dude was holding. But plus, he was like in his late fifties, maybe early fifties, maybe late forties. And yeah. yeah, there was there was a lot of penis talk. <laughs> I mean, they kept talking about, oh, it's, you probably won't do it because it's small and all this other stuff. And I guess he eventually just walked away. And, Sat back down by his wife or something. I thought that was fucking hilarious too. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. There's just so much wrong with this story. Right. Wow. Right. It was hilarious. So it had nothing. It had nothing to do. Like for them, it had nothing to do with the fact that he was with his wife. It's because he automatically had a small dick. They didn't even right. know that that he had a wife. Like he he never mentioned it after before all that stuff with the nipple touching, and all that. Like I guess he tried to. He was Touch. lining up a three-way, man. He was trying to, yeah. I guess he he touched one of my wife's friends, and then she grabbed my wife's hand and was like trying to get him to touch this dude's nipples, and she was like, "Get off me! I don't want to do that." So, so this this dude, this fifty-year-old dude, <clears throat> went and like uh, touched a tit, or, yeah. or or what have you, and then in turn almost got his nipple touched, and then pushed out when it was time to bring out the dragon. Yep. <laughs> Hey, I mean, like, I can't, I can't totally argue with him because, like, if I'm bringing out the dragon, something's gonna happen. Because I don't, I don't freaking go and wake the beast unless there's some action. Because, like, the older you get, it's like that dude don't want to be woken up unless he's gonna, you know, unless he's gonna be fighting. Right. So I completely understand that, but at that stage, that dude's a freak. <laughs> yeah. Should've... Yeah. I, I, yeah I, just, I don't understand where the, you know, where the wife's at during all this. I mean, this, this, this wasn't like a 10 second conversation obviously no so you know this probably went on for minutes you know his wife's chilling god knows where you know maybe she's touching some dicks mm-hmm. or more <laughs> it just uh it's just weird i don't know i can't she, she could have been touching some boobs too she's trying maybe. to wrestle a dragon ah. yeah maybe, maybe she was hiring some help <laughs> you know i don't know there you go <laughs> looking for a guest star uh-huh yeah. <laughs> looking for a stunt dick yeah <laughs> Bring in the stunt cock. Uh, so that was that was my night. That was uh, it was quite entertaining actually. And then they came back here and had cinnamon toast crunch and passed out. You know, hey, you know the thing that I find funny is like you, you really don't know how people are until you know you you stumble into situations like this, right? You know, mm-hmm. like, like obviously this guy obviously has some sexual you know looseness about him that you know his wife's somewhere in the bar and he's over here touching tits. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and this kind of reminds—I don't know why—it's not like a similar situation, but it just reminds me of the fact that 
again, you don't know how people are until you just happen to find shit out about them. Yeah. And, you know, like my wife, one, one of her aunts, um, you know, they, they had this place up in Chicago and every now and then they let us like hang out up there, you know, cause I mean, they're, they're basically paying for a mortgage on this place. Uh, or I think, I don't know if it was like a, like a condo kind of thing or if it was like a, just an apartment they were renting. Right. But it, I mean, it was like, uh, like deep in the heart of the downtown you've probably seen the building it's like a circular building with like a bunch of um uh, what do you call them balconies that go around like the whole building in chicago do you guys remember that kind of building i think so yeah yeah so i, I can't think of what the place is called but i'll look up but they had a place up in there and it was, it was just beautiful right and you know they're, they're, she's like a neat freak and you know, everything was like perfect when you walk in there was always like notes like the X is in this drawer and you know it's just kind of weird there was like post notes everywhere that but is kind of pa- apparently you know and this you know didn't happen when I was in there but apparently it was brought up that they found like dildos and shit in one of the dresser drawers and yeah all, all kinds of like <laughs> lingerie and shit it was just like some kinky ass shit going on in there and, you know it, you, and then you uh, you know I've seen this woman right you know so it's like every time I see this woman I just think no way you know <laughs> you know, right just, I can't believe that this is what they're doing, but hey, everybody's got to get their feels on. You just want to walk up to her and be like, you? Not yeah, you. Right. You? So you, you still want some dick? Or... <laughs> <laughs> She's a freak. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and it's just like, wow. That's, that's hilarious. That's creepy. Yeah. I don't know if it's creepy or, creepy. I mean, is she, is she attractive at all? Or... Yeah, for her age? Yeah, I would say, you know. Then you give it to her. <laughs> it's her aunt, dude. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hey man, if you can't keep it in your pants, keep it in the family. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was an incest. <laughs> oh, there we go. It works. Rasputin. <laughs> Rasputin. Ooh, so, it works. So, dude, we got a LA Turtle, man. Yeah. So, this, uh, <laughs> all right. So the other day, I, I get on YouTube, and for whatever reason, it started on the trending like page. Hmm. Oh, McChicken. Huh? McChicken. <laughs> Dude, I, I I don't get the reference. I gotta check out that other video. You said. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? No. I'm not. Oh my God, you need to be. Is it like... that same dude or? No. Oh no. Okay, okay. I'll have to check it out. But so so one of these trending things was like this. You know, it just kind of showed this picture of the, kind of this scrubby looking blonde haired kind of. I, you know, he looks like white trash, but I, I don't want to call him that. But. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm like, all right, what the hell is this all about? You know, because it was the only thing on the, the trending page. It wasn't some, like, you know, high quality, like, video of something or, or right. Jimmy Kimmel. You know, it's always some, like, pre-production kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. It just looks like some dude just randomly made some video. So I pop – it's called Dying, by the way, the video. Yes. That, uh, so, yes. Go ahead. No, I was going to say that it was, it was actually very – it was well scripted. Compared to some of his other videos, that was probably the best one. Yeah, I, I would agree. I, I would agree. It's definitely his best one, and probably why it blew up as fast as it did. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, mean, I just popped this thing on, and it's like this dude walks in the room, and he's kind of talking in like a soft voice, and then it flips the camera to himself sitting down like a chair, looking up at him. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And this, so this guy has this whole conversation with himself, and you know, in three different types of characters. It, it, and then I kind of started watching some of his other videos and kind of got the whole this is what he does kind of thing like he yeah. just and i the thing that it gets me is like how does he do it how does he does he do it all in separate shots does he actually move between lines and it just edits it clean what, what do you guys think about it but i mean it's it is hilarious i mean if anybody hasn't seen it check it out uh la turtle is his name on there uh it actually goes but uh, his thing is real name is evan breen and the video is called dying and it, and it blew up last week and uh but it, it's just it's just the most ridiculous uh, family story ever. Yeah, it's actually pretty pretty well written and pretty funny. I I laughed at that one quite a bit. I showed it to somebody else and they were kind of like, uh. And I was like, yeah, but it's so funny. It was well put together. Well, I think if it's an actual Vine, he probably does each video separately, then edits it together and then uploads it. Because vines yeah. are only a few seconds. Like you can't do like minutes of stuff. Right. Well, I mean, this, I don't think this was a Vine, dude. I think this was a, a straight YouTube thing. Yeah, I think it was because, a YouTube video. Because it was, it was so clean. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I don't think he would have been able to chop that up. It, I don't think any of the, well, some of the lines were pretty short. I, you know, well, I, I, all of them were pretty short, actually. Yeah. He, he jumps from the three people, basically, 
like within seconds. But I don't think you could have got enough of the story into a vine that made any sense. Yeah, that's so, how I would like to do it. Yeah, jump from several different people in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> insert here, insert here, insert. <laughs> It's all in the hips. Yeah. So, you, so you want to be Will? <laughs> Just loosen the tension, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so, but, dude, I mean, he's got some of the best lines in there, too. Like, your moves are weak. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know, that everybody was just kind of, your moves are weak, babe. You know, and and then, um, and I, and I love that part where he's like, nothing wrong with liking a little penis. I thought you said it was a big penis. Right. <laughs> it is big. Bigger than, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and the funny thing is, like, when he ever, he always had to, like, correct himself to not say that it was bigger than his. Yeah. And he did say that at one point. It's the big, it's the, it's the biggest in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought no, that was you, funny. I'm, go, I'm, I'm with Mark now. I like penis. <laughs> oh, now you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it was just—it's just hilarious. And I just—I really do want to know, like, does he does he does he record all the lines separate, or does he just jump from position to position and edit it, edit it clean? What do you think? I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to. He's doing it from his from a some kind of device. I'm guessing his phone, or and he's and it looks like he's holding it. Yeah. So it's got to be like to me. If it was a YouTube video, I would just do it for. I would do it like that. I would just say the lines. But then you got costume changes. He had the hat. He didn't have that. Didn't he have another shirt on as as the mom too? No, no. He just had the hair down normal. So yeah, that was. I mean, I would probably do it as one shot, like and just and just edit it together because you can then just drop the video to your computer, whatever editing software you have, and then chop it up. Right. So yeah, I mean that to me that would make more sense, but. I'm it would not, make more sense. It would make more sense as far as the script goes, I guess. Yeah, I'm you know, not. And, uh, and, and I just wonder if he just made this shit up on the fly too. Which that's hilarious if he did. But I'm yeah, not lost. He, he might so. have had like a concept, but then kind of just ran with it, you know. All right. But uh, yeah, and you know, some of his vines are kind of goofy, kind of not funny. Um, but some of them are just great, and I, I think the uh, uh, the recurring theme of like like the last word would kind of always get cut off because of the time limit i'm guessing right but it still worked right you still knew what he was saying and i thought it was pretty good yeah so I, I give him big, big ups and for that and um you know he, he definitely got his viral hit yeah i mean that was hilarious yeah it's I already s- over a million and a half views damn yeah it, it's when i first found it it was like 675 six six thousand or six you know six hundred seventy five thousand. No, so wow. it, it, it went fast over overnight pretty much wow i wish we would get that many views no joke. Yeah, but it's, you know, I, and I think, well, you know, yeah. and that and that kind of points out a problem with with YouTube is like you look at these trending things, and like I said, so many of them were like these pre-production, you know, either it's YouTube red people or or some you know like TV show or or some reality show where it, it's you know it's not like real people doing real shit, you know, and even in the comments, people were saying, oh, this is like YouTube 2008. And well, some of it is like pre-production, yeah. But that's what they want. <clears throat> they want like shows. They want, they want their stars to like move to show to show level. You yeah, know, but like, I think it's hurting them. I mean, I I don't see PewDiePie putting out nearly as much shit as he used to. No, because he's recording stuff for his uh, YouTube Red channel. Right, and, and you know, and I I don't even bother with that anymore. YouTube yeah, Red. I, I I used to watch PewDiePie for a little bit. You know, and, and who, who the hell is PewDiePie? You've never did, seen PewDiePie. Really don't know. I don't know who that fucking guy is. Oh, <laughs> we'll throw a link up in the description. Yeah, it's he's pretty funny. I like him. He's like YouTube's number one star. Like he's got, I think he's got like a diamond play button. Yeah, um, like yeah, he's. He, yeah, he, he he he. I don't know if he still is number one, but he definitely was number one. I think he might still be. I don't know who would have topped him. Yeah, I I don't know either. But well, I mean Ray William Johnson for a while was, I think it actually nudged him out for a little bit. But then, you know, and and. and that's what got me thinking about this too is like he really he's a guy that kind of just fucked up and you know and I, I get why he did what he did do you guys know who Ray William Johnson is no I think Mondo. so Mondo <laughs> yeah I think so okay he's the he he did the equals three um, you know he basically he would review and make fun of some of the the like the viral videos that came out for the week okay and it, and it was it was pretty hilarious shit. I mean, there was some real seriously funny shit. And I, I used to watch this shit all the time. And 
you know, and I think he got to a point where he was just kind of bored with it. So he kind of went on different things, started doing vlogs, started doing all this other stuff. And then he eventually just stopped doing the videos and, and replaced himself as the host and found a dude to do it. And, you know, everybody hated that, you know, of course. Nobody, nobody wants somebody different. All right. And even though Robbie Mott's the guy that took his place, he was actually pretty funny. I, I'll give him that. Uh, he, he actually did a pretty good job. But, I mean, obviously, again, people don't like change, and, and they start bailing. And, you know, eventually Robbie Mott's, I don't know if he quit or they got rid of him. What I mean, he did quit, obviously, but I don't know if they got rid of him on his – you know, because he sucked or whatever. And then they replaced with one of their producers, uh, and, and the show is really just tanked after that. Well, it usually does if the one person they took over, usually. There's right. a couple exceptions to that. Like, you have actual TV shows like, uh, you know, The Daily Report with Jon Stewart, the guy that replaced him. He's hilarious. Yeah. I, I like him a lot. Um, I think he's funny. But there's a lot of people that this happens to. You get something good. And they have they have this idea. They start it. It builds steam. It becomes popular, and then it's time for them to move on to something else. And someone else takes over, and you're like, "You, your eyebrows, your eyebrows are too bushy. I don't like you." <laughs> you know, like it's just something people just find like fickle shit to, yeah. to judge them on, and then they go. But then you have the core fans, and they stick around, right? But only after so long, because then it's like, okay, let's you guys are just doing the same thing. You lose that fresh perspective, and then you want to bring in more fans. You do, but then your your core base that was right. with you from the beginning, they some of them bail. Well, you know, and, and that's kind of the the difference in in the internet world is that people will, after a while, just say, okay, you know, first there was you know kind of a nostalgia factor after some of the stuff they would keep doing, like the throw the baby thing that they would always do, right? It, which which is always funny. Right. But you're right. After a while, you got to get like, okay, time to change it up, you know. And and they they did from time to time change things up. And yeah. And the fact that they always had different videos and different jokes. But then they, you know, they kind of got to points where yeah, they would kind of repeat things. And some of it was good, some of it wasn't. But you know, it. But I don't know. It it just seems like if if you're making the dime off this, <clears throat> and things are going well, you don't jump ship even if you're a little bit bored because your star will wane. Maybe just not as quick as it had to or you made it wing you know and and i think ray william johnson had the chance to really be the, the number one guy it's just you know he he wanted to do something he wanted to be bigger than what the show was and and i think that kind of backfired and now it's kind of just done yeah back i don't know about back yeah i mean he, he moved on <clears> other <throat> things so in case you are familiar with what he moved on to he was in the fluffy movie oh yeah, he, that was big time yeah and uh yeah, they did some other like little offshoot kind of movie things, and he's also like, like a rapper, I guess too. Oh yeah, he's been really successful at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and the sarcasm continues. <laughs> but yeah, he was uh, in the Professionals, The Annoying Orange, Breaking Los Angeles, as himself. Wow, uh, all top hits. Yeah, right. your favorite Martian that, that, that we've never heard of. Jay and Silent Bob's groovy cartoon movie. Oh, that was it. Yeah, epic rap battles of history that. he was a uh, goku versus boba fett yeah 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 he, on uh epic rap battles yeah yeah and then who's driving doug is a, is the newest one but i mean he's got i mean he's a comedian you know he's moved on he's got a career he doesn't have to rely on youtube which i find interesting that he's moved on to do other things granted they may not be things that we have all heard of but i mean the fluffy well, movie i mean was he was big. approached for like some tv stuff too like some to blow up big there so he and, could have been like the next like uh and he didn't want to do that Chappelle what's that I said he could have been like the next Chappelle then I mean comedians that are approached to do TV shows I mean I'm sure that happens but does it happen like often you know like, I've not heard well I, I think there was wisdom in not going to TV because I mean t- honestly I think TV is dying it's a dying medium so so yeah it's funny how La Turtle which is how I will refer to him from here on out um Come on, you know it's L.A. It's capital L.A., and it's got to be from California because he's fucking crazy. You, you remember that uh, anime called L.A. Blue Girl? Uh, not really. Oh, classic. So I always called it La Blue Girl <laughs> because okay. that's just that's what it was. She's La Blue Girl. But, no, uh, yeah, you see how quickly his video trends. That's good. I'm surprised you haven't heard or seen the McChicken video. Yeah, I have not heard. I just <laughs> not, Pete, Pete, have you I, seen it? Uh, yeah, I, I watched it. And I'm, I'm 
kind of confused because yeah don't don't go into too much detail we don't want to ruin it for will <laughs> and speaking of ruin things hey have you watched uh scott pilgrim yet there pete a what scott pilgrim <laughs> the movie remember Ah, damn it. Now this thing's on me. <laughs> yeah, it's on you. Hey, I, I got Junior yeah. in, and, and he loved it, right? Um, It was entertaining. Very oh, entertaining. That. It was entertaining. <laughs> it was, you, you came the first time you saw it. Out of five stars, I'm giving it four. Oh, wait a minute. I think I, we need to go back in history. I, th- I think you gave it five last time, bro. I'm going to check the records, but I'm going to give it four. Okay, well, have you rewatched it? Me? No, not yet. Oh, you, dude, you gotta watch it at least like ten times. Hold on a second. I watched this motherfucking movie once, and I'm good with it. I love it, right? Uh-huh. I gave it four stars. Now you want to watch it like nine more times? What's wrong with you? Yes, because every time you watch it, you see something cooler and cooler, and you just you just fall in love with it, and it makes uh, you I'm touch yourself to, on the inner side. Have to have a link to this movie because uh, get out of here, stalker. <laughs> 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 Seriously though, there, there's so much like hidden gems in there, hidden Easter eggs in there that you just gotta watch it again. Okay, I did see a vine about uh, when your baby mama come to pick up child support and he jumps through the window. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. It was <laughs> that, actually that part good. is awesome. Yeah, he he's not here right now. <laughs> yeah, he reaches back in for his jacket. <laughs> yeah, and, and then he's like literally walking behind her in the shot. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a bad movie to be completely honest. Like it was it was good. It was uh, more than what I had thought, but at the same time, it brought something more. You know, yeah. like, at first you're kind of like this is lame, and then it was like oh, so. But yes, uh, McChicken, watch it, Will. Okay, I sent you the link. Right. Could, well, I, I did watch the Come Don one, which was pretty damn funny. That's hilarious. See, but that's what I, I'm I didn't watch the whole thing. After I got to the chick, where like, yeah, I had six guys <laughs> suddenly <laughs> my boyfriend. After the, I, I had, or I got Come Don, I was like, no shit. You didn't see the whole thing? <laughs> I did. I did watch the whole thing. Oh man, that's so funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I do love that part though. I was like, I only had one boyfriend, but after I got Come Don, I had six. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I love the uh, the retired guy's face. He was like, "I got my wife come down, and uh, you could see the results like right in her face." <laughs> Did you see it, Pete? Did you see it, Pete? Yeah, yeah, I watched that. It was a pretty good movie. It was hilarious. <laughs> pretty good movie. But yeah, so you should We're definitely watch it Everything for three hours movie. in a row. <laughs> you, you should definitely watch the McChicken video like now. I just, right I just didn't, I just didn't get it. I, uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, if you can play the link, play the link. We'll wait. Well, wait. You you it's, you got to play it, otherwise nobody's gonna hear it. No, 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 no. You watch it. Yeah, yeah, it's more. It's more of like you know. It's more of an individual thing. Comedy. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, but I mean, seriously, you want me to watch this right now? Yes, please. It'll only take a oh, we're doing we're doing a live <laughs> react video right now. Yes, it'll only take a second, like Pete said. Except nobody can see my face. Where you know I get the the big gaping mouth hole kind of thing. We're just in space, and only we can hear you scream. All right, so so is it the link right above the Mexican tweet thing? It's uh, yeah, that was for Pete because that guy's last name is Nito, and he's in so a lot what of trouble. I, where's the link? I don't see the link for that. Then it says check out at Mexicans tweet, and then there's a link at Twitter, and then it says McChicken. That's all it says, dude. When was this? Uh, it says yeah, click on the link. <laughs> okay, okay. I just brought it up on my new Samsung S7 Galaxy phone. All right, wait, Ooh. wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. Is you said it a that vertical last time. video? It's, yeah. Wait a minute. What, dude? Is this somebody jerking off with the McChicken? <laughs> I think you should watch the video. Oh, this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> totally it's a trap. Oh, my. All right, time out. This is like the shittiest video ever. I mean, if you're going to do something funny, do it at least in high res and not vertical. Hey, hey, how do you know he's joking? <laughs> Have you seen a McChicken? <laughs> I would knock the feathers off a of McChicken. Dude, you know, McChicken is, is seriously, they put way too much mayo on that. And you can see now why. Because this guy's using it for fucking lube. He asked for mayo. Extra. <laughs> Wait, I mean, how long is this video? Is that it? Is it only like 30 seconds? I mean, were you looking for a finish? Uh, yeah, did he come or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How long is the video? I think judging, judging by the content, maybe at least more than six inches. He's pushing nine. I, I would say that's at least a full eight, bro. That's a full, yeah, I was gonna say he's pushing nine easily. <laughs> God 
damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting in the living room. I don't know if I'm room. just having bad internet or, or if this video is this fucked up. No, it's, yeah, it's been reposted like a bunch of times. So they're getting like, they keep removing it you know, and people is, keep adding it. This is everything it. wrong with the world. I'm yeah, going to rape you! <laughs> that guy, that guy's more famous he, he, he than raped us. that McChicken. He did. Oh yeah. He put it in that McChicken. Oh, uh, dude, this has got to be the best. I mean, people go to check out, you know, uh, McChicken on like anything related to that for uh, McDonald's, and they're getting this. Yeah, like if it, that's even why. It me, even though it took me 20 minutes just to get the goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, that's classic. I yeah. So I'm sitting in the arm um, upstairs. And a friend of ours, she's like, have you seen this McChicken video? And I was like, what about it? I was like, what's... what's it's a trap. She's like, that was so true. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, well, it's trending on Twitter right now. You should see this. And I was like, what? So she showed it to me and I was like, what the fuck is happening? What's going on in the world right now? That's awesome. Yeah, I just... I laughed. But did you see the comment on the link that I sent you? No. They said, the guy in the McChicken video, stupid thing. <laughs> you stupid thick. I lost oh, yeah, it, dude. Yeah, it's it so funny. Spelled, uh, uh, T-H-I-C-C? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that guy is, that guy is uh, unfortunately revealing to the whole world that, you know, I got a shrimp dick. That guy, is, he's all, like, admiring it. Yeah. Yeah, he probably wants to smell it. <laughs> on August... It smells like my was, chicken. That was on August 28th, 2016, at 5.44 p.m. <laughs> he reveals his gayness. 